tuning a guitar. I've taken this guitar fairly out of tune here to demonstrate uh, what's involved with tuning. This is a nylon string guitar and uh, the strings, uh, if they're new, take a very long time to stretch in. Uh, steel strings stretch in a little quicker, uh, but uh, when they break, they break uh, with a little more power and you have to be careful. Sometimes a, a string can break and it can fly up and hit you in the eye or something. You have to be very careful tuning. And uh, we're going to start. I'm going to play this high E string and then I'm going to play the actual note on the piano here, E. It's always good to A, B them, check them one against the other. You can see that this note's quite a bit higher so I need to turn this tuner and I like to go a little bit lower than the note. I'm going to go a little bit lower and then come back up on it. See, I'm still a little high there. That sounds pretty good. Alright, now the B string Is it low or is it high? It's low. So I have to go from there. Just a smidge more. That sounds pretty good. You always have to make sure that you're turning the knob for the string that you're listening to. Don't be turning this knob and, and playing a different string because you'll end up with a broken string pretty soon. If you don't hear it change right away, you're probably not turning the right knob. Okay, the G string. Now that's pretty, pretty close. It's back to so close I'm going to leave it. Okay, the D string. As you can tell that D is come up a little bit. So I'm going to turn this this way a little bit. Always listening. Always listen to the note. Turn very gradually. And kids, definitely get a, a grown-up to help you when you try this. Don't try to do this alone. Tuning uh, is a very easy way to break strings. And the A string. sharp so I've got to go down I'm going to go a little bit lower and then I want to come up on it so let me listen to that note again very close and the low E string you can tell that that's really loose find on a steel string guitar that you don't have to turn the, the knobs quite as much as you do on the nylon string. Pretty, 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 pretty close. Alright, now another way that you can tune a guitar is if you start with your bottom E string and get that in tune, you fret this note right here, right there, that one compare it to the open A string. And then do the same thing with this one, comparing it to the open D string. And then this one right there, compared to the G. Then we drop down a fret, go to the B string, and then right here, back up here for the E, to tune the E. There are other ways you can tune with harmonics you strike the 12th fret harmonic there by lightly touching the, the string and then the 7th fret harmonic but that gets a little tricky there's also 5th fret harmonics but we'll get into that later